Today in class, we learned how to divide decimals by tens, hundreds, and thousands. Let's have a short review. Four and six tenths divided by ten. We learned that when a decimal is divided by ten, we move the decimal point one place to the left. So our answer is 46 hundredths. Seven tenths divided by 100. We also learned that when a decimal is divided by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the left making it 100 times smaller. So our answer is 7 thousandths. Nine divided by 1,000. We also learned that when a decimal is divided by 1,000, we move the decimal point three places to the left. So we'll move the decimal point over three places to the left, and our answer is 9 thousandths. Let's practice a few just to exercise our memories. Eight divided by 10. 8 tenths. 90 divided by 100. 9 tenths. 4 divided by 1,000. 4 thousandths. 200 divided by 1,000. 2 tenths. 324 divided by 1,000. 324 thousandths. Now fill in the blanks with 10, 100, or 1,000 to make the statement true. 3 and 4 tenths divided by equals 34 hundredths. 10. 1,235 divided by equals 1 and 235 thousandths. 1,000. 592 divided by equals 5 and 92 hundredths, 100. Now let's go over how to divide by tens, hundreds, and thousands when it's like a number like 400, 300, 6,000. So when it's a non-one digit in the tens, hundredths, or thousands place. So let's start with 31 and 2 tenths divided by 600. We worked on this in class when we divided by 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, etc. So this is going to work exactly the same. We're going to split up the 600 into 6 and 100. 6 times 100 equals 600. And we're going to complete it in two steps. Our first step is going to be to divide 31 and 2 tenths by 6. So they're wanting us not to estimate, they're wanting us to get the exact answer here. We, are, we know how to divide a decimal by a one digit whole number. So you can either solve it in your head or you can actually write it out to the side. So 31 and 2 tenths divided by 6 equals, if I'm solving it mentally I'm going to ask myself how many times can 6 go into 31, which is 5 times, and then I will have 12 left over. I bring down my 1 and I would have my 2 there, so 6 goes into 12 two times. Now I need to add in my decimal place. Since there's one decimal in the number 31 and 2 tenths, I'm going to put it after the 5 and before the 2 so that I have one decimal place in my answer. Again, if this is difficult to do in your head, that is perfectly fine for you to write it down on paper and solve it. Now my answer is 5 and 2 tenths. Now we have a second step we still have to divide by 100. So we're going to take 5 and 2 tenths and divide that by 100. So 5 and 2 tenths divided by 100 equals 52,000. We move the decimal point two places to the left to make it 100 times smaller. Our final answer then is 52 thousandths. Let's try another one. 46 divided by 2,000. Once again, I'm going to split 2,000 up into 2 and 1,000. 2 times 1,000 equals 2,000. So now I can solve it in two steps. My first step is going to be to take 46 and divide it by 2. I can solve that mentally. 46 divided by 2 is 23. If you want to write it down on paper though, that is fine. Then I have a second step. I need to make sure that I divide it by 1,000. I'm not done yet. I just solved 46 divided by 2 not 46 divided by 2,000. So now I'm going to take that answer of 23 and divide that by 1,000. I'll move my decimal point three places to the left to make it 1,000 times smaller, and my answer is going to be 23 
thousandths. Okay, now I want you to practice a few on your own. You can solve them in your notebook, but you'll type them in here and find out if your answer is correct right afterwards. So let's start with 8 tenths divided by 200. 4 thousandths. 1 and 6 tenths divided by 400. 4 thousandths. 12 divided by 6,000. 2 thousandths. 65 divided by 5,000. 13 thousandths. 